Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. Best friend, if this is the first time that you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, okay? So listen, if you want the latest in pop culture, if you want all the tea, you've come to the right place. So hit that subscribe button. Make sure to give this video a like. Turn the notification bell on, girl, okay? And sit back, relax, grab a snack and a drink, because I gotta I gotta fill your teacup, okay, honey? Listen, we gotta talk about Miss Miley Cyrus. So Miley Cyrus, best friend, has taken basically and turned her breakup into this newfound success, this newfound respect in the music industry, winning her first two Grammys the, uh, over the weekend on Sunday. She won her first two Grammys ever, okay? The song Flowers is an it's one of those songs that really just comes once in a while. It comes once in a blue moon. And with songs like Flowers, you have to understand that it's a song taken from pain turned into something beautiful, okay? Now, a lot of people have criticized Miley for shading the relationship and shading her ex, but a lot of people don't really know how exactly they got there. So let's take a look and go down memory lane, shall we? Back in 2019, Miley Cyrus was performing in Glastonbury Festival. And that is the same day where Miley decided that her marriage with Liam would have to come to an end. Miley recalls that day in Glastonbury and says, was when the decision happened that me and Liam's commitment to being married just really came from, of course, a place of love first, because we'd been together for 10 years, but also from a place of trauma and just trying to rebuild as quickly as we could. Miley was actually referencing the major fire that she suffered in her Malibu home in 2018. Miley says the day of the show was the day I decided it was no longer going to work in my life to be in that relationship. She still performed and gave a hell of a show. She goes on to say that that show where she decided that her marriage would have to come to an end, she says, that was another moment where the work, the performance, the character came first. And I guess that's why it's now so important to me for that to not be the case, but the human come first. Miley talks about the time where her Malibu fire really was the gateway for this divorce. She says, we were together since 16, our house burned down. We had been like engaged. I don't know if we really ever thought we were actually going to get married. But when we lost our house in Malibu, which if you listen to my voice pre and post fire, they're very different. So that trauma really affected my voice. And I was actually in South Africa, so I couldn't come home. And like my animals were tied to a post at the beach. I lost everything. I had Polaroids of Elvis, like front row passed on from like front row passed on from i got a couple grandmas to give me their elvis polaroids i always became friends with my friend's grandma so i can get the goods from the artists i love i had so much and it was all gone every song i had ever written in that house every photograph of me that my parents had given to me all my scripts i lost everything and so i'm trying to put that back together instead of going Oh, nature kind of did something I couldn't, I couldn't do for myself. It forced me to let go. I ran towards the fire, which is not abnormal. A lot of animals do this and end up dying like deers run into the forest. You're attracted to that heat and me being an intense person and not waiting, wanting to sit with it and not wanting to. And not wanting to go, you know, what could be purposeful about this? I just clung to what I had left of that house, which was me and him. And I really do. And I did love him very, very, very much. 
and still do, always will. Miley also says that there was too much conflict. She says, when I come home, I want to be anchored by someone, she explained. I don't get off on drama or fighting. In a later interview, she said, I recently just went through a very public divorce that fucking sucked. What really sucked about it wasn't the fact that me and someone that I loved realized that we don't love each other the way that we used to anymore. That's okay. I can accept that. But what I can't accept, the villainizing and all those stories going on to reference the media's perception that she moved on quickly with friend Caitlin Carter and later ex-boyfriend Cody Simpson. So Cyrus and Hemsworth actually were married in 2018 and announcers split less than a year later in 2019. The former couple met on set of their movie, The Last Song, And girl, they had a really messy on and off again relationship. They were engaged in 2012 and called it off and broke up until they got re-engaged in 2017, honey. But regarding the last song, Miley actually spills some tea about it. She says, I heard a rumor that he didn't really want the role. And when he came into the audition for the role, I'm thinking, here's this guy. He's amazingly good looking, super confident. And he doesn't realize how blessed he is to be in this room because I know how blessed I am. This is such a big opportunity for both of us. And I was thinking, ugh, gross, you know? So here's the thing, okay? I have to say a couple of things. I feel that Miley Cyrus has every single right to to discuss things to to open up about things to use her pain for a song okay to to use that pain those life lessons that we learned girl because honey (laughs) we will hit a wall once and over and over and over until we finally learn our lesson girl okay have you ever been with that man or that you know your partner or that you know that person that just you know damn well deep down inside they are not it for you and all of your friends are telling you your parents are telling your next door neighbors are telling you bitch the ufo came from the sky to tell you but you are so eager and you're so just you know hard-headed and you just want this shit to work and then one day you find yourself lost you find yourself friendless you find yourself in an isolated island because people just weren't able to stick around and see that version of you that version that you let go of who you really are you lost that spark you know what i mean so that's the spark that i really do feel like miley was talking about now listen There has been a lot of things in the past of their relationship that has raised a lot of eyebrows. What would you do if your partner treated you like this? Liam Hemsworth went viral for telling Miley Cyrus to behave on the red carpet. The couple seemed happy, so happy that Miley wanted to lick his face, but not for no reason. Photographers were shouting at Miley to kiss Liam, and well, knowing Miley, she did that and a little more. (laughs) But Liam didn't seem too happy about that. He mouthed to what looks like, could you behave for once? And Miley's smile slowly faded into embarrassment. Miley then pushed Liam away and took the photos by herself. The couple then posed together again only for paparazzi to ask for another kiss, to which Miley told them he doesn't like it, and Liam says that they should pay for it. So listen, best friend, okay, all in all, girl, if you are going to use your, I mean, if you're going to have a number one hit single, if you're going to 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 learn a life lesson, if you have to go through the mud, you might as well come out and, 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 and give it all, you know, give it all away, girl, make that song, write that book, teach that life lesson, use your life lessons, use your hardships and make it into a positive best friend, okay, because I know damn well after my first you know my first real relationship I mean I was very young but oh boy did I learn lessons you know I I learned that you should never allow nobody to dim your light whoever you are with should give you that space to shine should give you that space to be your best self just because you're in a relationship does not mean that you stop being an independent person and that's something that i think we all of our 
all of our guilty of. You know, once we get into that relationships, you know, a lot of us may, maybe stop reaching out so much to friends. You know, we start, you know, just hanging out with that person and we don't really realize what we are doing is we are literally changing up our whole lives. Your partner should be an add-on. Your partner should be a, a plus, not something that's going to get you to have less in your life as an independent person. Do you know what I mean? So this is a life lesson for all of us, honey. If your partner is 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 dimming your light, well, girl, you got to go and tell yourself that you can buy yourself flowers. You can write your name in the sand, okay? You can talk to, to yourself for hours, all right? I mean, listen, and you can hold your own damn hand, all right? So anyways, best friend, what do we think? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. I am so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you. Again, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Beedee-dee-bobbity-boo.